Hello and welcome back to another Farming Simulator Giants Editor tutorial and today I'm going to be having a look at the pig and beef fattening mod. Um, I'm going to be working with a sample mod map, just a pretty much blank sample mod map. I have added a few bits and pieces into this map already, just playing around with some stuff and testing stuff out in a blank map if you like. So that's what I'm going to be working with, simply because after looking around on various different mod sites, I found it somewhat difficult to find a map that didn't already have this in. Uh, there are a few out there, but they are somewhat smaller maps, perhaps, um, and didn't feel it was appropriate to use them for this particular mod. So I've gone and opted for this particular starter mod map. I believe I got it from Mod Hoster, but there are a few different ones. It's not really relevant for this because, um, you know, it's not specific to any kind of already created map, if you like. Um, but, you know, if you're going to be using this to put into a starter map like I am here, then it may be beneficial uh, if you're creating a map for the first time, like, um, or if you do happen to be editing a map that you found that doesn't have this particular mod already in, then you can work with that as well. So what I'm going to do here is, as you can see, I've got the actual Schweinmast or pig and beef fattening mod folder open here and you do actually get some instructions which I'm going to go ahead and open up. So you can see, see here Schweinmast version 5.0.0 by Maru and that's what you will end up with two stations like that if you haven't already seen them which I'd be quite surprised because as I say there's a lot of maps out there with this already on it so um, you know whatever. Um, you'll have two stations similar to that or like that. One will be for pigs, one will be for beef. And we have all of our instructions here, which are of course in German and I don't speak German. So I'm going to be just working through these and picking out the parts that I do kind of comprehend and I can work with them and adapt them accordingly. So reading on down through the instructions, we have our index here and then it comes down to explain certain parts about the mod itself and how we go about putting it into the Giants editor and all the rest of it. Now if we come down to this part here it actually says something along the lines of to copy or place this particular folder into the map models buildings folder stru structure on the map that you're going to be in importing into. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to close all this down for a second and then copy that, go into map, mod, models, whoops, buildings, and then paste it in like so. There we go. Okay, so now if I open up this particular folder again, this is why I have it, I copied it so that I have this on my desktop to work with, separate to messing around with the folder that I've copied into the actual mod map. Okay, so coming on back down through our instructions here, We've placed it in the appropriate sections that it tells us to here. And it's now saying to basically bring the mod into Giants Editor. So that's what we will do. So if I come back out to my map 3D, I'm going to open that up in Giants Editor. Okay, so now we are in Giants Editor, and as I said before, this is a blank starter map. There's very little on it. I've just basically doodled around on it with some different things, placed down some fields, some <coughs> roads, and I've put in a um, rail system with a, a trigger for the um, train and bits and pieces like that. But it's just a doodle map, really, I mess around with from time to time. But what I've tried to do here is structure it somewhat that I've got what I need to actually get this all up and working. So I've put down some potatoes in a the field there. I've put down some wheat there so that I can actually get straw and grain. And I've put down some grass so that I can collect some grass <clears throat> to either give directly to the pigs and beef or to create possibly TMR. And I may put in some different placeable mods to give me some silage and bits and pieces to do that. But we'll get to that later on. Okay, so now what I want to do here is basically just 
find my place which I'm gonna stay here is good enough for this and what I want to do is just bring in the actual mods themselves into the map through Giants Editor here in this Giants Editor session. So what I'm going to do is go up to the taskbar, go file, import, go to my desktop, open up the map folder, map. And if you remember we put this in models and then buildings and then I'll just go down to the Schweinmast folder here, open that up and we've got Rindermast and Schweinmast. The Rindermast is for the beef and the Schweinmast is for the pigs. So I'm going to start with the Rinder Master Beef, so I'm just going to double click that and bring it into the map. Okay, so now if you wish to move this around within the Cinegraph, you can see here we've imported it and it's come to the bottom of the Cinegraph, which it will do every time you import something. You could now, if you wish to, put it into a different place. So if you wanted to, you could come up to All You Need or whatever you called that, go into Farm Buildings and then move it into there if you want to. Um, and then go from there. And I would highly recommend that if you are thinking of moving it from somewhere other than at the bottom of the Cinegraph, do that now before you start placing it in various areas on your map. And simple reason for that is because each transform group is set up somewhat differently on your axes. And if you then place it on the map in a certain point and then move it to a different area within the Cinegraph, a different transform group, the axes will be different and it will then suddenly shift halfway across the map. So if you want to move it somewhere else within the Cinegraph, do it now before you start messing around with it and manipulating it onto the map. I'm, I'm not really bothered. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of the Cinegraph simply because it's easier to work with and it's not going to be buried somewhere in amongst all of this other stuff where I then can't find it. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave it where it is. Now, this next section is somewhat important in my experience, at least when I'm working with mods that have animated animals. And if I click on the plus symbol here, you have your expanded Rinder, Mast, Schwein Mast, whatever mod you're working with here. Um, and you can see here there are two separate transform groups, one which is called the actual Schwein Mast, and then one which is called Pigs. Now, like I said before, we are working with beef, but the actual text name there is pig, that's somewhat irrelevant because if I click on render you can see that the animal we are working with is actually beef. So if I click on the pig one and go under the map with all the other bits that I've brought in here, you can see that we have our animated beef like so. They must stay there. You, It is recommended not to move them from where they are imported into the map because it will break them. Again, this is in my experience. So to get the actual Schweinmast into the proper place, what I want to do is click on the Schweinmast transform group on its own, separate to the rest of it, and then move that on its own without interfering with the rest of the actual mod itself. So I'm going to just basically use the interactive placement tool within Giants Editor. So I'm going to go up to Edit, Interactive Placement, and then bring it over onto the maps like so. Then it's just simply manipulating with the gizmo to get it into a place that's comfortable for you. And that's what I'm going to do, like so. I'm not going to be too fussy with where it's placed and all the rest of it, because again, there's nothing else on the map. And this is demonstration purposes only, so it'll be on you to get it how you want it to be and manipulate it with the gizmo and all the rest of it to suit your needs. Okay, so now that I've got that into there, I can minimize that, click off of it in the Cinegraph to deselect it, and I go File, Import, and then bring in my Schweinmast. And again, like we did with the Beef Station, click on the plus symbol to expand it, click on the Schweinmast Transform Group on its own, Edit, Interactive Placement, and then bring it over. And I'll lower it down again like I did with the other one, to a point where I feel it's appropriate like so, and then click off of it to deselect it. Okay, so now what I want to do is basically have a look at the instructions again to see where we need to go next with this. So as you can see here, it's giving us down to the section where we are at the moment, bringing it into the map and placing it where we want it. Then if we come down a bit further, we've got our user attributes. And what it's saying here is that we need to look in the 
Schweinmast transform group or the transform group that's appropriate for the user attribute that we require and that is the XML file and what I'm looking for here is the path file name for that pig husbandry or beef husbandry XML and to make sure the path file name is correct for that particular XML so again we'll go back into our Giants editor session here and if I click on the render one which is for our beef and scroll down we have XML file and what I need to do here is obviously just double check that that's pointing in the right direction now remember we actually imported or we brought over the folder and put it into map models buildings and then we had our Schweinmast folder itself and then we have our beef husbandry.xml so that path file name is actually correct which is why at the beginning of, of the video I said that I actually brought it in and put it in that map structure and I did that for a certain reason and that's because the path file name has already been set up and I wanted to keep it the same so I did, didn't have to edit very much I could keep the editing down to a minimum so if we then go over to our Schwein Mast or Schwein 1 or whatever that is um, and do the same again and you can see the XML file there and the path file name is going to be the same so it just like I say keeps the editing down to a minimum I don't need to mess around too much with that XML file or that the user attributes to get everything pointed in the right direction if you obviously wish to move those XML files and put them in a separate folder that you've created yourself by all means do so if you want to put the actual Schweinmast mod into a different folder then by all means do so but just be aware that you will need to adapt this path file name to then locate those XML files and the script files and everything else with the newly created path file name that you've allocated to it I'm just going to stick with the basics at least for this demonstration just to make it somewhat simpler and to keep this video as short as possible but as info as accurate and as much information as I can get across okay so now the next thing it's doing here is saying to allocate the attribute for the pig trigger and to give it the correct fill sound file name and the correct path file name for the WAV file for the pigs and the beef so again if we go back over into our giant editor session here and I go into the actual render one which is again for our beef and I click on the plus to expand it and then plus again to expand the Schweinmast and if I come down to the appropriate place you can see we've got pig trigger 01 which it shows us in our instructions here and if we actually look again now in our user attributes we can see we've got that fill sound file name and if I look in there we've got map models buildings Schweinmast textures beef.wav so what I need to do is actually just double check that that is correct and that, that it's going to be pointing in the right place so if I go back into the map folder here and go into models buildings shrine mast textures we have our sound files there's one there one there one there and one there so that path file name is actually correct so again keeping the editing down to a minimum that is perfectly fine don't need to change anything and I can do the same check here for our Schwein 1 which is for our pigs so again clicking on the Schwein mask transform group clicking on the plus to expand it going to pig, pig trigger 01 and we have in our fill sound file name map models buildings Schwein mask textures pig.beef so all of that is pointing in the right place so don't need to, to make any further changes there so again going back into instructions we can scroll on down and we come to our moddesk.xml and these are the parts that we will need to add into the moddesk to find the appropriate scripts and all the bits and pieces that are going to join it all together and make it all work now again like I said before I don't speak German mm -hmm. so I'm kind of putting two and two together and getting some random number but nonetheless what I've interpreted this as 
if you have no triggers or scripts or anything else in the map you're working with, like I have with this one because it's a blank starter map, I will need to copy all of this section and it must be uh, after the end of the 110 end section. If on the other hand I am working with a map that has extra source files and scripts and triggers and things like that already in it, then I would not require the extra source files tags so I can just copy this section and then place it within the extra source files that are already existing within the mod desk but I don't have them already in my mod desk there's no scripts, no triggers, no nothing so I will actually need to copy the entire section like so which is what I'm going to go ahead and do so I'm going to copy that minimize this for now go back into my mod map come back out to the mod desk open this in notepad plus plus and at the end of the 110 end section there you can see that matches what we have in our instructions here I can create a couple of new lines and then paste it in like so not going to worry about tidying up the text at the moment may do that later on if I feel it's appropriate again this is a sample mod map just a play around map for the map that you're going to be working with if you're creating a map um, or if you're editing a map, it might be worth just going in and tidying the text up somewhat so it lines up more appropriately. But again, I will leave that entirely on you to decide how you want to work with that. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, I will minimize it for now because I may need to add some more stuff in. So I'm just going to come back into my instructions and continue to scroll on down. And luck has it, we do actually need to add some more parts in. Again, in our moddesk.xml, between the 110 end sections this time, we need to add in these parts, of these text parts. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of that after highlighting it, minimize that, bring back up my mod desk, and we have our 110 end there and our 110 end there. So somewhere between those two, I need to add in that text. So I'm just going to again create a couple of new lines and paste it in, and go ahead and save. So if we now continue to scroll on down, it's now getting into the area where we need to actually work with our HUDs and how we go about locating the appropriate HUD directories. So what I'm going to do here is close down my mod desk because I no longer require that to be open. And I'm going to actually close down. I'm going to first of all save this Giants Editor session. Now I can go ahead and close that down because I don't need it open for the time being. And now what I need to do is actually look in my scripts here and make possible adjustments to point the path file name or create or adapt the path file name to find the appropriate HUDs for our animals. So the first one I need to have a look at is the regfilltypes.lua. So if I minimize this, I can now close that. And I'm going to go into Map, Models, Buildings, Schweinmast, and we have our scripts. Um, and as it said in the instructions, the first one we need to look at is our Reg Field Types Lua. So I'm going to right click and open that in Notepad. And what it's asking me to do is basically look at the local HUD directory and see that that is pointing it in the right place to display our correct HUDs. So what we have in the regfieldtypes.lua is map, models, buildings, Schweinmast. And if we follow that through, we've got map, models, buildings, Schweinmast, and then we've got our HUDs, which are here. So that path file name is perfectly fine. I don't need to make any adjustments there whatsoever, so I can go ahead and close that. So go back into our instructions, and the next thing it's saying here is to look in our pighusbandry.xml. So the next thing I need to do is basically look in there and go pighusbandry.xml, edit in Notepad++. And again, we can see here that we have our path file name for the image active, which is map models buildings schweinmast and then the pig underscore store dot dds. 
So if we go back into what we've got, map, models, buildings, Schweinmast, beef underscore store dot DDS. So that path file name is perfectly acceptable. Don't need to make any changes there. So again, I can go ahead and close that down. Moving on again. We've got some other parts with the user attributes there. Don't need to worry about any of those. Don't need to worry about any of those. Showing our index for our manure heap index. Don't need to worry about that for the time being. Um, it's explaining the different fill types. So don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about any of that. All of the door trigger indexes and things like that will be operated by the actual um, door trigger dot lure script that we've already got and the path file name for that is correct in our mod desk so that's perfectly fine all the other parts are set up okay so we don't need to worry about that this is basically saying about the uh, pig field trigger indexes and how that all works uh, but again I will show that in Giants Editor and we've got our pig position index this is something in Giants Editor if you wish to play around with the actual animated pigs within the stalls themselves as you can see here the stall group so I'm not going to rest around with that too much I will leave that on you to experiment with but for me it's perfectly set up as it is now so I'm not going to worry about that and then we've got our animation triggers and things like that for pig indexes and whatever else so again we can move on down and it's giving us our station names trigger indexes the fruit types and bits and pieces there don't need to worry about any of that um, the liquid manure solo it silo index manure heap index the xml file there for the husbandry again shop by this is basically explaining all the attributes that are created within giants editor the boolean um, attribute which is set up as a certain part to give us what we require and the shop by attributes things like that i would highly recommend that you leave all of that as standard unless you feel it's not working for you and you may need to make some changes but unless you know how to play around with booleans and things like that within giants editor and setting them up probably best to just leave it alone and then there's some bits and pieces there explaining about support and how you go about getting that so we are now at the end of the instructions. so i'm going to go ahead and shut that down okay so last thing i want to do here is just basically go back into Giants Editor for our mod map here. So I'm just going to open that back up in Giants Editor. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want to have a look at some sound files um, and make sure that they have been set up correctly within this particular mod and the way that I've actually, the way that I've actually copied over the folder and where I've put it, the structure, the folder structure, how I've set that up for this particular mod. As you've already seen, the scripts and the XML files, the path file names, by placing it in that particular folder structure, were set up perfectly fine, and I had to make absolutely no changes. And like I say, trying to keep the changes to a minimum is always beneficial. So again, I'm going to come up into the Cinegraph here, and I'm going to expand the Rinder, the beef fattening mod here, the beef fattening station, and I'm going to expand the Schweinmast, and I'm going to have a quick look in here and just see what there are for sound files and things like that. And just make sure that everything is set up correctly. Just to double check, because if you remember, we already checked our fill sound file um, earlier on for the uh, WAV file, for the actual beef sound in this case, and in the other one for our um, pigs. But I'm just double checking stuff to make sure that there's nothing that I've missed that my understanding of the instructions again I don't speak German so um, I followed them best I can so I'm just gonna look through both of these and just make sure that there is nothing there that I have misinterpreted or missed because of the language barrier and there isn't so I'm perfectly happy with that 
so I don't need to make any further changes there and I can go ahead and close that down and click no because I haven't made any further adjustments. So now that I've got that all set up and it's actually in the map itself, what I will do is zip all this up, put it in my mod folder, get into game and then get some machinery up together, get some materials, grain, um, straw, potatoes, earth fruits, whatever else, and then get it all up and running, get some beef and some pigs and check it all works. So yeah, I'll see you when we get into game. Okay, so here we are in game and as I said, I've got some machinery up together here, just some different parts, um, mower, placeable mix station, placeable silage, fermenting station. Um, I did actually harvest some wheat there and got some straw, harvested some potatoes for earth fruits and I've gone ahead and already set up the actual stations themselves. I've given them all of the appropriate feed that they require so you can see that the the um, earth fruits show up perfectly fine. You can see that it's got water in the station there and I've given them grain on that one and if we come across to the other one I've done the same over here so you can see that I've got the water there which is showing up on that particular trigger I've got the grain in there and again earth fruits in there okay so what I've also done is given them some TMR I've put some bits and pieces in the mixing station there the placeable mixing station and I then came in and gave them some TMR and if we actually come into the fattening station here you can see all of the animated beef in this particular case working perfectly fine and all the sound file is working as intended so that's great and if you hadn't already noticed the doors do work so that's great so that's all working on that one if we come round into the whoops overshot the door come round into the pig one here I've actually been in this one already just to check it all but if we come round to here you can see that the animated animals again are all working perfectly fine doing their roly roly thing and all the sound files are working you can see that the TMR is showing up don't know about the texture so much but it is all, it is all working and you can see that the manure heap there is actually showing up as well um, so that you can come in and collect your manure and then put it wherever you require sell it, put it into your storage or use it to spread on your fields however you want to do that Okay, so that side of it is all working perfectly fine, so that's good, um, really pleased with that. So yeah, that's all in the map, set up, working, and all the rest of it. And if I open up the info window here and come across to our beef fattening page, you can see that shows up as well. So we've got our fattening installations, page one, beef and pigs. At the moment, oh, you can see they're showing zero productivity, but that will change. So I've got 44 in that one, 43 in that one. One of each is actually already ready for slaughter weight. And I've got TMR, grain, earth fruits. I haven't bothered with just silage because I put TMR in. I've got water, straw, and they are already creating manure and slurry. So if I just actually fast forward time a little bit to the next day. Like so. And we bring the window up again. You can see now that they are actually at 100% and we've now got three of each ready for slaughter weight so all of that is working as intended so that's good and if I actually come over to my trailers here you can see I've already collected a few of these animals got beef in this one and I've got pigs in this one so they are all are working as intended all of the triggers are working and set up correctly um, like I said before, keeping as much as possible edit-wise to a minimum, um, just check the instructions and work through them as best you can. If you speak German, like I said, great for you. Um, you'll find it much easier possibly to work with. And this, hopefully by following this, it will all make sense. If you don't speak German, then hopefully I've explained it in a manner that you can work with my instructions and get it all working as well um, so yeah 
Um, the only thing I haven't done is actually set up a sail trigger, but that's relatively straightforward. I'll probably recommend the easiest way to do that would be to find a map that's got a sail trigger on it already and then export it and then bring it into the map that you are editing. If you are creating a map, then that may be the best way to do it as well um, because trying to actually create triggers um, and set them up appropriately is not the easiest thing to do in my experience so I would just find one that works take it from something like Beyond Home or whatever else and then adapt it accordingly um, not Beyond Home um, that hasn't got pig fat on it well there's a modded version I believe that has got it but something that has already got this fattening mod installed on it um, and then just take a sail trigger from that and adapt it appropriately um, but yeah so yeah, uh, we're done. I think this has um, been a success. It all works. So hopefully it's of some use to you. Please let me know in the comments. Um, if you need any instructions or whatever else, I will try to do what I can to help out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.